Right, let's have a look and uh, we'll go through the process of tuning your Savage. Now, like I said before, not many people have made videos about doing this. So I don't know how many people have actually done it because it makes a big difference. So what you got to do is you have to take your cover off of there for your receiver and then you have to get the cable. Now you have to buy this separately. It doesn't come with the car. It's just a USB cable. Um, this is ordinary USB but then you get this little uh, castle link adapter thingamajig that you have to buy separately. So then what you have to do is you get your wires um, the ones that come out of the speed controller these ones here and where they go into number two it's difficult trying to film this with a massive microphone on the camera so you pull these out of number two and then here now it's important to remember that when you've got brown red and orange the brown one is black so brown is negative so you just plug it in um, you plug oops you plug the negative one in the, into the brown straight in there like that so I'm going to do that right now we've got the brown one plugged into the negative if we're ever going to get a focus which we probably won't there we go, right we've got the brown ones plugged in to the negative on the thing now and we've got our USB just have to plug that into our USB slot preferably around the right bloody way and then we get a green and a red light coming up so that means that we're connected now we have to go over and go on the computer right so now we're here on the computer um, first you have to download the Castle Link um, software so you just go to this website uh, castlelinkcreations.com forward slash downloads and then you click on download now and you have to enter some information um, just about I don't know what you've got and then it takes you to the download page and then you download it and that's all that good and dandy and then once you've downloaded it you go and you open it up and uh, once it opens up you'll get a little screen Woo. reading throttle curves remember you've already got your truck connected now so you have a USB connected down on the bottom left and you'll have a device linked so your device is currently linked and you get this nice screen here so if you go over to basic you've got all the basic things here like the lipo cutoff voltage you have to select when you want that to be cut off um, you know when you got your uh, how you want reverse how you want your reverse to be working um, you know motor direction what motor you've got whether you want to bleep um, your brake amount i put mine on 100 I don't know why I had it on 60 that's a bit random anyway uh, you know, you've got arming time, throttle, dead bead, start power. You know, if you click on the question mark, it tells you what that thing means. So, you know, you, you shouldn't really get confused. It's fairly easy. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Anyway, and then if you click on throttle curve, this is where you adjust your throttle. Because when it first um, turns up, it's something like this. This is what my one looks like now. So you've got 10% throttle, 20%, 30, 40, 50, all the way to 100. So mine's, I've adjusted mine to a curve. And then when you get to about 80, 90%, it shoots up. And then you've got full power. And that's when you're doing all them backflips. So when, you, when it first turns up, it's something like, it's that. That is what it is. Out of the box, that's what the throttle curve is. That is ridiculous. As soon as you press the throttle at 10%, you're already all the way up there. You want to be down here somewhere. So to adjust it, it tells you down here, though. It tells you how to do it. But if you do a left click somewhere, you get a point. And if you drag it now, so you, you can drag it wherever you want. You can put it all up there if you want, but that's just ridiculous. Whee. 
or you can put it all the way down there and you get no power. So you want a sort of random curve, something maybe, something like that, that's sort of what my one looks like I think. You can add other points, you can do it like that, so it goes up and then goes back to a dip if you really want it like that, why you'd want it like that, I have no idea. So you can just adjust it to however you want it. So if you want it to be really subtle, like nothing, 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 all of a sudden shoot up or go like that, till you get nearly nothing until you just, till you got it pinned and then it shoots up and do whatever you want. If you do a right click, it deletes the points and brings it back like that. I don't know what that means, no idea. So yeah. So once you've got your throttle curve adjusted to whatever you want it to be, um, you go over to brake curve up here. Now, the brake is exactly the same. When it first comes out of the box, it's all the way up there like that. And that's not how you want it. What the hell is this? And that is not how you want it. You want the brake to be a nice curve as well. So that when you're doing a 50% you've got a bit of breakage, 80 70% bit more brake, bit more brake. And then when you got it on full brake, that's full brake. So you can do the same thing and just adjust it till you've got a nice braking curve. And then once you've got all these adjusted how you want it and ev all the throttles how you want it and the braking curves how you want it, everything exactly how you want it, you have to come all the way down here and click update. And then that sends all your uh, all your new settings to your car. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's as simple as that. But uh, it's definitely important to do it because all them people on YouTube were, you know, giving it reviews saying he's undrivable on 6S and everything like that. Well, I'm running 6S and when I upload my first run videos and everything, you'll see um, how tame it is now. It's like that. It's like a nitro car now. You've got, you know, nice curve and then... When you want the power, you just got to pin the throttle, and that's it. You've got the power. So that's a that's a good way to be doing it. So remember, you got to click update though, because if you come out of that and don't update it, everything will stay how it was beforehand. So there you go, my friends.